Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of some new features in TeacherMade that you can use to turn some of your favorite PDFs and Word docs into assignments in Google Classroom or other learning management systems. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So TeacherMade.com, it's a service that I mentioned back in the fall and since then it's been updated. So let's go and log in to my account here. And I'll give you a refresher on how this works. So we're gonna create a worksheet. And in our worksheets here, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a PDF. I have a PDF on my computer that I want to turn into an online assignment that's clickable for my students. So let's go ahead and make my file by, first of all, uploading that PDF. So I have the PDF here. And it's just a fun trivia quiz I'm going to use. And so let's call it fun trivia quiz. And you can see it's a two page PDF. So I'm going to use both pages here. I have those both selected. And I'll select make my file. Now on this screen, this is where I can make this PDF clickable and have my students' responses automatically scored. So let's start with this. I have this picture here and it says, how much does this concrete bison statue weigh? Well, I'm going to use the multiple choice option. And that's this little icon here. Let's select four choices. And that then puts four small circles on the screen and I can make them larger or smaller by clicking and dragging. And I'm going to mark it as that being the correct answer. And I'm gonna change my scoring so that this one here, when I set the default score, it's five points. Now we could change that for this individual individual item if we want to by hitting edit multiple choice and we can now set okay 10 points for that question instead of the default five but you know let's put it back at five so now it's a five point question but one of the new features of teacher made since i talked about it in the fall is that you can now record audio to add directly into your worksheet so let's do that. Let's hit audio recording. And I'm going to put a little box in the upper right corner of my picture here. And now I'm going to record my audio. So here we are looking at this giant bison statue. Here's a fun fact. This giant bison statue is in Jamestown, North Dakota, and it weighs 50 tons. So now I'll attach that to the worksheet and my students will be able to listen to that audio when they're viewing this teacher made worksheet. Now let's go down and look at something else here. We have a true and false question. Well, let's make our true and false actually clickable. Let's do true false and put that right on the screen. Let's enlarge it a little bit there. True or false, this is the largest passenger jet in the world. And I can even put the true or false right on top of the picture if I want to. And my students can have that nice and large right on top of the image. So they can click true or false. And I'm going to indicate the answer choice there. Again, I can edit the true or false and change it from the default five points that I set earlier to 10 or one or even say don't score it at all. Now let's go down to this last one here. And we'll see I have match the state capitals. And this one, again, I might want to give some directions to my students. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it again an audio recording. And I'm going to put that audio recording right here above where it says match the state capitals. I'm going to record this. 
In this section, I want you to match the states on the left to the correct capital on the right. And if you notice, the states here are all New England states. And again, I can attach that to the worksheet. And my students will be able to listen to those directions when they're viewing the worksheet. Now I want to insert the matching function. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do this matching right here. And we'll start right up here with main. And I want to make sure I have a corresponding match. So I'm going to go over here to Augusta. And then I'm going to just hold down my shift key and match them up. Those are my correct answers. Now I want to do this again for the rest of the state capitals. So I'm going to do that process a couple more times. And again, hold down my shift key and match them up. All right, so now I have all of my matches made and we can go to edit matching to look at the number of points I've set. Now, this is one of those ones where I might want to change it and make this one worth more points. Or I can set it back to the five points if I want as well. So let's save those changes. Now I'm all set. I've got everything on my worksheet that I want. There are 13 different activity types that you can add into your worksheet. I just showed you a few of them here. But next, I want to show you how you can preview this. We're going to file, we're going to hit file, and we're going to close this out. And what I want to do here is in the upper right hand corner, I want to hit the preview of my worksheet. So let's do that in my actions menu. Let's go ahead and preview that worksheet. And I can see a preview of what it's going to look like to my student, including the option to click on the audio icon. So here we are looking at this and they hear that audio played back. Likewise, down here, we'll have that audio played back. So my students can see how, or I can see how my students are going to see this. But now I want to create this as an assignment. So here I am, my worksheet detail, for my fun trivia quiz, I'm going to create an assignment. Now, I signed in to my TeacherMade account by using my Google account, my G Suite account, or Google Workspaces account, as the case is now. So I'm going to create an assignment, and I'm going to use, in this case, Google Classroom, and select Next. I'm going to pick the classroom that I'm going to assign it to. That's my demo class there, demo class 2020. I know it's 2021, but I'm still calling it demo 2020. And I can specify the students that are going to get it. In this case, it's just going to be Mason. And let's assign that to him. And we can set our points for this assignment. We can change it. We can auto sync our scores if we want to. Do score percentage. You can see here. None. I'll release the scores when I return the work. Okay. Score and correct answers on individual items. Okay. Set next. And let's go ahead and hit save. And there it is. We'll see this assignment has been published to Google Classroom. So now I'm going to show you how a student will view this in Google Classroom. So a student will see this here in their Google Classroom. They'll see the new assignment is posted by a teacher made fun quiz assignment. They'll click on that. Go ahead and click on the assignment. It'll prompt them to begin with Google, begin fun trivia quiz assignment, begin with Google. Sign into their account through that. And now they can complete this activity. So again, they can hear this. So here we are looking at this giant bison stack. And they can 
mark their response, they can mark this response, then they can match the capitals. And so here they're going to draw the lines to match the capitals. Then when they're done, just hit, I'm done. And the answers and the worksheet is submitted. So then if they refresh it, over here, they can go ahead and mark it as done. And that's it. So then as a teacher, I can go back into my Google Classroom and see that my students have turned in that work. So I can see it right there. My student has scored 100%. We can see that it hasn't been returned. There's a submission date. I'll go into my Google Classroom where I will see that one. And I can see student work. There's Mason. He's got a 100 out of 100. Let's go ahead and return that to him. And we're all done. So that's how you can add audio to your worksheets in TeacherMade, create matching and multiple choice and true false activities out of your old PDFs or Word documents, and then share them as activities in Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out freetechforteachers.com.